Hey folks, welcome back to Niche Learns to Code. In today's video, I will discuss how I prepare for the CERN fellowship interview. Let's get started. So this is uh, basically what I did. Uh, I received that I had been um, asked for an interview about two weeks in advance. So I had like two weeks of time to prepare to prepare for my interview. So I, in this video, I'll just discuss what I did in that two weeks of time. So initially, uh, we, there was no specific language that was specified by CERN that this is a language that I must use, programming language that I must use in the interview. So it was not like I have to program in Java or I have to write my code in Python or any other such constraint. I could use any modern programming language, C++, Java, Python to write my program. There was no constraint from CERN's end. But even before I started preparing or gave the interview, mentally I was prepared that I will use Java as the programming language of my choice to give this interview. Like I do, I do not know what exact, what would be the exact questions that come in the interview, but whatever, but whatever programming questions would come, I was mentally prepared that I would use Java as a language of my choice because I had already worked at CERN previously. And I was aware that, um, majorly all the applications that they're building are very Java focused and my personal programming language of choice is also Java. So everything just matches. So before preparing for the interview, I just, sat down and read about Java a little. So I already know Java. It's not like I'm, I don't know any Java, but I just, um, I think that some concepts of Java are a little rusty. So I just recap, so I just reread interfaces, abstractions and abstract classes and, uh, polymorphism and multiple, multiple class inheritance is not there, like different types of inheritances and exactly what are the different, uh, access modifiers in Java. What are the different properties that we can get? Why are strings immutable? Why are string builders not immutable? Hash maps in Java. So just, I sort of revised Java before starting preparing for the interview. So that was step number one. After revising Java, I came to design patterns. So design, there are 24 standard design patterns that are recognized throughout the industry. And these are very famous design patterns. Those design patterns are abstract factory, builder, factory method, prototype, singleton. Singleton is extremely important. Adapter, bridge, composite. I'm just reading words from this list here, but these are 24 very important design patterns. And I revised each and every single one of them and coded it out from my hand, every single design pattern. So I have just like made a flashcard in front of me, randomly saw any design pattern. After seeing the design pattern, I just coded it out like uh, straight away. So I remembered all of the, I like sort of memorized all 24 design patterns. I also understood what those are. I initially I had to memorize the code for some design patterns, but once I understood that what the design pattern is talking about, I did not have to memorize them. I could just use my understanding to code it out. So this was a very big thing to, I did. Of course, this was not accomplished in one day. I did not just memorize and understand all 24 design patterns in one day. This did take like one to three days and I was not preparing like super crazy for my son interview. It's not like 24 seven, just studying, studying, studying. I also had an internship at that time. Uh, I had my university at that time. I, I was preparing for my exams at that time. I was also making a research paper that I had to submit as a bachelor's thesis. So there were many things going on. I was not able to give as much time as I would have wished I would have given. Uh, yeah. So this was the second step that I did. I revised all important 24 design patterns and implemented all of them in Java. The third step that I did, I revised object oriented programming. So object oriented programming is a very famous, very popular pa programming paradigm. And it consists of four things, polymorphism, abstraction, encapsulation, and inheritance. And I revised all four of them. I implemented them in Java, understood them. It's not like I did not know them before, but yeah, I once again revised the oops concept. So these are the three main important things that I did for preparing for my CERN fellowship interview. After this, I uh, started solving little problems, but of course there is no dearth of problems. You have thousands of problems on hacker and lead code spots. Like you can't know which problem will come. So I did not solve many problems. The main focus that I gave, I gave to core data structures. So I implemented from hand. When I say implemented, I mean wrote out from scratch entirely. I implemented linked lists, stacks, queues, mini, maxip, and then binary trees and binary search trees. So all of these data structures I wrote, I defined. So stack is super simple, linked list, is super simple, queues, mini, a little mini maxip, a little more complicated, like a step up and binary search tree, like another step up. So that's trees entirely. I also implemented a uh, graph. So I implemented like a 
two graphs, an undirected graph and a directed graph. So I just wrote all of this out by hand. So for if like something that comes in the interview, like somebody asks me that implement a graph or implement a binary search tree, a binary tree, I should not, I should already like have some memory, some idea of what to do, what uh, the algorithm should look like, what the time complexity should look like, so what the code should look like. I do not memorize any code, like memorizing code is never a solution, but I just practiced, like I implemented everything once by hand, so um, I sort of removed the rust, because I, I, I couldn't even remember when was the last time I had implemented a binary search tree. So just implementing it again took a little time, and I wanted this time to happen before the interview, not during the interview. So yeah, that's how I prepared for my CERN fellowship interview. Other things that I did were very minor. I just brushed up my resume, made sure that it was up to date, made sure my LinkedIn was resume was up to date. I also had um, both IDs ready. I had a Python ID ready. I had a Java ID ready. So if I had to write code in either Python or Java, I was absolutely ready. I had OneNote ready, along with attached with a Wacom tablet. So if, for example, if I had to draw out any diagram, that was ready. I even had my projects ready. Like if I had to showcase any projects, I could just switch my tabs and show projects. So this was my overall preparation for my CERN fellowship interview. Thank you very much for having me. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.